Hello, welcome to the video on areas of regular polygons. This is our first example set, example set A. And what we're going to do here is find the area of these uh, regular polygons with the given information. And this is uh, this first exercise is really just to get you um, comfortable using the formula we talked about in the lesson. And that was the area of a regular polygon is equal to one half A times P, where A is the apothem and P is the perimeter. Okay, but you can see here that we have all that inf we have enough information to find the apothem and the perimeter. Okay, well obviously the apothem is given to us, but those other pieces of information, okay, the length of the sides and the number of sides, that's enough information for us to find the perimeter. Okay, so if you didn't quite figure that out, um, you know, uh, if, if you haven't tried this problem yet, now, now is a good time to maybe pause the video and you know, give it a try. Okay, so these two pieces of information will get us to the P, get us to the perimeter, and then of course we have the A, and we'll just plug everything into our nice little formula and find the area. All right, so let's go ahead and just do that. So um, this will be the area equals to one half, the apothem is two times the square root of three. Okay, now the perimeter, let's go ahead and find out over here. The perimeter is gonna be the number of sides. Okay, well here we have 10 sides times the length of one side. So that's five. So the, the total perimeter is going to be 50, okay? So that's what we have to plug in right here. So we have one half times two times the square root of three times 50. Okay, so hopefully you're uh, very comfortable uh, working with these radicals and fractions. It's actually very easy to simplify because the one half times the two, this just goes away. And really you are now left with square root of three times 50. But we want to write that this way, 50 times radical three or the square root of three. And that's it. Okay. Now, of course, you can go into your calculator and find the square root of three and multiply by 50. Um, I think that's kind of unnecessary and you should be, you should be able to simplify um, at a minimum these expressions uh, with radicals and kind of work this way because uh, more often than not, uh, most math teachers, if you were taking this for a test or, or a quiz, wouldn't uh, let you uh, be using your calculator, at least on something like this. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our second problem. Same thing. Okay, so we already have our apothem. And we're going to use these two pieces of information to find our perimeter. So let's go and set up the problem. So the area is going to be equal to one half the apothem, which is the square root of two times the perimeter. Okay, so the perimeter is going to be equal to the number of sides, eight times the length of one side, which is two radical three. So eight times two radical three. Now here is where some of you might uh, hopefully uh, um, are not struggling with working with radicals, but I only bring it up because in my experience, you know, sometimes when you're in geometry, you might you know, be a little rusty on some of your algebra. So you should be able to do that. How do you, how do you simplify eight times two times uh, square root of three? Now, if you're rusty on it, you want to go back and review. But this is simply 16 times radical 3. Okay, so it's going to be 8 times 2, then you have your radical 3. So 16 times the square root of 3 or radical 3 is, is your entire perimeter. So now let's go and write that here. Okay, now if you're, you know, uh, kind of struggling with these radicals, you say, you know what, I'm just going to use my calculator. That's a bad mistake, okay? You want to make sure you know how to work with these calculators. It's just not enough to get the actual value. You want to be able to, to uh, simplify these expressions. All right, so let's go ahead and just kind of clean this up so we have a final answer for the area. So we have 1 half times radical 2 times 16 times radical 3. Okay, so each one of these are just uh, numbers in this big product. So I'm looking at this 1 half and this 16, so that's going to be 8. So this is going to be 8 times radical 2 times radical 3, right? But this is still not simplified. So once again, how do I write this in a better way? How do I simplify these radical expressions? Okay, so this is going to be the area. It's going to be equal to 8 times radical 2 times radical 3. 
is equal to square root of, of uh, 2 times 3. So this would be 8 times the square root of 6. Okay. Now, if your final answer in value, if you take the square root of 6 on your calculator and you multiply by 8 and you get this, that, that's good. Okay. So I don't want to, I don't want to um, not deter from you understanding, but you need to know how to work with these radicals. Okay. Really, really important. Okay, dokie. Let's go ahead and take a look at our last problem. So in this scenario, what we're dealing with is uh, variable expressions. Okay, but the same process is going to apply. All right, so we have our area equals to one half the apothem, which is going to be three fourths x. Okay, times the perimeter. Okay, and of course the perimeter is going to be the number of sides times the length of one side, or 6 times 5x, or 30x, okay? So we'll put that right here. All right, so we have 1 half, we have 1 half times 3 fourths x times a 30x. So once again, you got to simplify to get your final answer. So let's see here. Um, let's just go ahead and multiply all the numerators and all the denominators because we could just think of this as the product of three uh, fractions. So this would be 3 times 30 or 90 x times x. So that would be 90 x squared over 8. Okay, 2 times 4. All right, so basically just think of this as three product of three, three fractions. And then I can go ahead and reduce 90 x squared over 8 down to 45 over 4x squared, okay? All right, so a lot of um, geometry, as I've been kind of talking about, you know, time and time again, deals uh, with uh, algebra, okay? Algebra is the language of really mathematics. So, you know, certainly don't be surprised that you have to use this stuff or it's coming up again, you know, uh, in your study of geometry. Take the time, review, and once you figure it out, you say, okay, now I got it. You have those skills. You know, uh, you'll be able to, to conquer, you know, these area problems much, much easier. All right. So keep working hard. We'll see you soon.